It's that time of year in Pagosa, springtime. The aspens are blooming, Wolf Creek ski area is shut down for the year, and the snow in the high country is melting. Thousands of little streams flow down the continental divide as they combine to create bigger tributaries, eventually forming the beginning of the San Juan River that winds its way all the way through downtown Pagosa. In every May, an event called Pagosa Paddle happens. It's held on the San Juan River and it's meant to raise awareness for rafting and also help raise funds for the Colorado Oregon Rafting Team. It was started a couple years ago by local school psychologist Tim Brink and he claims it's the most epic whitewater event in Colorado. It's epic because you can sit in the hot springs with a cocktail and watch everybody race. And we're the only whitewater event that has that type of a namesake. Well, when I started planning for this in January, I wasn't real sure how COVID was gonna play out, but I also wanted something to do to have fun. Um, something coming out of a long, cold winter, of a really tough year in 2020, and just celebrate life and celebrate our community and just get out and get after it. Rafting is an all-encompassing sensation. I mean, you're in the water, you're moving, it's refreshing, it's challenging, it's nourishing for your soul, it's reinvigorating. I mean, it's water. And in the state of Colorado, we know what a precious resource that is. And to be able to actually boat it and use it recreationally as well as physically is just a bonus. 90% of the San Juan River originates as snowmelt. The average runoff is over 2.1 million acre feet. But present drought conditions in the 21st century have cut that in half. This river means a lot. I mean, I think water itself is the lifeblood of, of life, essentially. And the better our snowpack, the better our environment is. And the river's a good example of that. I just like getting out and enjoying the, the outdoors. And this is a seasonal thing, so the river's going to go down. We're going to run out of water um, that's raftable, at least. So getting out while it's still good and I'm um, looking forward to staying the paddle. We'll have lots of local boaters competing. The women's masters team of, of the United States has reported they're gonna come out. You got this, Iris! Let's go, let's go! What's important for the boaters to know is they have to make it through all the gapes, downriver and upriver, um, to count as a complete finish. But they're also competing against uh, somebody else in their class head to head at the same time. You got this, you got this. Oh, 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 I want them to walk away with what we did the first year and that's, they had a hell of a lot of fun and it's something they want to do again. And it's just a good time to have fun with no consequences and to meet people and just have a good fond memory of, of the river in Pagosa Springs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're looking to move to this magical town and need to buy or sell a home, I'd love to help guide you. And if you're a local business that would like to collaborate to make cool content for this channel, contact me. Cheers, Pagosa.